Hi, I'm Rich Bucheri from Pointer and Bucheri, and today uh, I want to talk about phone calls that I get off, and, and uh, that is, why is the insurance company's offer so low? So maybe you've been handling your case uh, by yourself and uh, thinking that, hey, I have a pretty good relationship with the insurance adjuster. They seem like they're treating me pretty fairly, so I don't want to get an attorney involved. And then after a few months, you haven't heard anything from the insurance adjuster. And then when they finally do call, the offer that they're making you is much less than when you anticipated. So the first thing to consider is, are all your damages being considered? Are you submitting all of your medical bills and related treatment? Have you submitted your documentation for your lost wages? A lot of times insurance companies only want to pay you what you paid out of pocket as opposed to maybe what your health insurance paid or what Medicaid paid or what Medicare paid. The other thing that insurance companies like to do to lower the amount of their offers is to claim that there are liability issues, even in cases where it seems very straightforward as far as what happened. In cases where a person, for instance, runs a red light, they will still say that their client is only 80% at fault because you should have been keeping a lookout for people that were running a red light. And that's clearly not a situation where you would think that uh, uh, you would be at fault if, you, uh, if somebody else ran a red light and hit you. And then finally, do you have any leverage? The leverage that attorneys have in negotiating with the insurance company is that we can file suit. And while you're certainly able to file suits on your own, it's not recommended. And most people don't know how that process works, nor should they. But when you have an attorney behind you, they have the leverage of having negotiated many, many cases with these same insurance companies, sometimes even with the same adjusters. And the adjusters know the reputation of whether or not these attorneys are really going to fight for their clients or they're just going to roll over. So should you hire an attorney? Uh, a couple of considerations. Attorneys generally have experience negotiating. If you get the right attorney, they will have experience negotiating these type of cases. They're going to be able to uh, give you an honest evaluation of your case. There's an evaluation of what the case is worth if you were trying to negotiate it versus if you have an attorney that's going to be able to build your case the way it should be. Uh, legal knowledge. The uh, legal knowledge that an attorney has to be able to argue these liability issues and then also to look at the insurance policies to determine if there are other funds available through other various policies. And lien reductions. Sometimes you're going to have insurance that paid for some of the bills or you're going to have a lien from a medical provider, and those amounts can be reduced so that you can get more money in your pocket. So that's another advantage of hiring an attorney. And then finally, the attorney is going to help you build your case. Uh, from the very beginning of the case, we're going to talk about uh, treatment and the importance of treatment and where to get treatment, make sure that we have all the bills and the records, make sure that we are presenting it in a way that it can be related to the accident clearly, and we're going to be able to gather evidence, photographs, whatever is necessary to make the most compelling case to the insurance company to maximize the amount that you can get in your pocket. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, please feel free to call me. I'm easy to talk to, and uh, you don't have, I'm just not a hard sell or anything like that, but I'm happy to kind of walk you through the process and then tell you a little bit about what I can do for you if you're interested. Thank you and stay healthy.